I wasn't able to get my worker's comp claim in, so I was out of work essentially for a month. Yeah, that was the point where I was like, okay, I'm getting this done, I'm digging in, and I'm getting a new job. Uh, so Logan Brindley, um, I just started a job uh, doing systems administration, so general IT. My job before this, I worked 1.30 a.m. in the morning until, well, whenever they decided to let me off. I was a forklift driver, essentially, moving product around the warehouse for a distribution center. How did you find out about NextGen? Well, if you hear my wife in the background, she's like, haha, me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she was actually looking around at different things. Uh, she found you know, just a random Facebook advertisement that popped up for her because she's been helping me trying to find a new job for the longest time. She was looking around and she sent me a link saying, hey, this looks kind of interesting. Would you be interested in that? I've been to college for computer engineering, computer science. I had fun with different programming stuff, but I was like, you know what? That's a little bit more, I guess, into the grit than I really want to get. So I started looking at this and... I don't know, it sounded interesting to me, it sounded fun, and it wasn't something that was going to be so over the top that it was going to be really difficult to do. Do you really have, like, a specific moment or something that, like, got you to that point where, like, both you and your wife were just like, it's time? Three, four months ago, um, I had an injury at work. Essentially, I was on my knees all the time lifting really heavy crap. I think it was my left knee. It literally swelled up. It looked like someone had, had taken an apple and shoved it underneath my skin on my knee. This happened because of work, but because there wasn't a specific incident that caused it, they fought it and I wasn't able to get my workers' comp claim in, so I was out of work essentially for a month. Yeah, that was the point where I was like, okay, I'm getting this done, I'm digging in, and I'm getting a new job. That month that I had off where I was out of work, I literally spent the entire time probably eight to 10 hours a day focusing on NGT, focusing on getting my CSINT and my CCNA. Preparing for the test itself, I actually had to take the CSINT exam twice. Uh, the first time I went through, I had not done any of the labs. That is something that you have to do. <laughs> I failed the first time, um, but going back into it the second time, I knew it to prepare myself for. And have you, do you have any other IC IT certifications? Are you still gonna go for your CCNA? Yeah. Um, I've gone through the ICMD2 course, I think three times now, um, the full stack network project. I need to go back and redo that. Um, honestly, if I were to do that, I think that would completely prepare my, me for my CCNA. When I did it before, I did bits of it, and then the rest of it I just watched them do. And I was like, oh, this will be enough. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, now you're ready to do it again. That's good. It's a great project. So again, my wife actually found the position. Um, so I ended up redoing my resume and then taking it into them. First interview, I actually went in and I actually applied for a programming position. Um, I didn't end up getting that position because, well, I don't have a ton of programming experience. He'd actually just barely hired someone to do systems administration. And he was like, I wish I'd found you before this because I would, I would have hired you on the spot. As it turns out, that guy didn't end up working, working out. Three weeks ago, I got a phone call from him saying, hey, I've got this position open. I hope it's okay. I held on to your resume. I want you to come in and interview for this position. I went in. I interviewed uh, with Andy again, my boss. I hit it off really well. Um, and then he brought in one of the guys that I work with now, he interviewed me on a lot of the more uh, technical aspects of network administration and domain name servers, different things like that. I want to say it was three hours later, he actually called me and said, okay, I know at your previous job, you're making $19 an hour, which for warehousing is actually a lot. And we we're talking about giving you that same pay, but I've talked it over with the general manager and we want to offer you 21. I said, yeah, I'll take the job. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so far it's been a lot of just general IT stuff, just helping people with their computers. Uh, currently I'm putting together a couple of PCs, putting together a base image of a computer. Um, haven't done a lot of network administration stuff. Jamie takes care of the bulk of that. None of it has been with Cisco, although I'm going to continue uh, pursuing Cisco different things. I'm looking at learning PSSense for Palo Alto stuff download images and data from the county. It's a, I'm, a, I'm working for a title company. So once I've got that done, it's just taking general phone calls as they come in. A lot of my time right now is actually just spent learning 
relearning the Linux kernel, different Linux kernels uh, command line. I've actually spent some of my time actually watching videos from NGT, so. <laughs> cool, learning. Just still prepping for the CCNA. For the most part, other than taking phone calls to help people with general IT, IT questions, I am being paid to learn, so it's nice. Are there specific areas of, of the job and on the job that you find using um, the curriculum and things that you learned within NGT? Um, yeah, there have been a lot of different things where, say, they can't connect to the different servers within our infrastructure. Today, for example, this morning I had to help one of the new hires. Uh, for some reason, when we got her first set up, we forgot to hook her into our Samba server or the F drive or whatever. And so I had to go in, I had to find that, and I had to link it. Having an understanding of network, network infrastructure, I was able to find that fairly easily. Understanding IP addresses and whatnot, I was able to determine exactly where things were. So to have a normal sleep schedule, again, is a bit of a change. <laughs> I'm sure the whole family um, <laughs> Yeah, I actually get to see my kids before I leave in the morning and actually get to say bye to my wife. Um, it's changed things long term for sure. Um, my general work day is a lot more pleasant. It's not as physically strenuous. It's a job that I actually enjoy doing. Due to me actually getting this job and looking at the future that they're kind of planning for me, um, we're actually looking at buying a house. This isn't just a job that I've been able to find. It's something that I'm looking at turning into a career and just staying with this company for who knows how long. My boss has, al has already been talking about okay, hey, once you have gotten to a certain point, we're actually going to look at hiring you an assistant. So it's like, dang. <laughs> so I'm not only looking at raises and whatnot, I'm actually looking at you know, end up being one of the main ones hiring that person. It's, it's neat. <laughs> the, what I've learned through NGT has it set the basis for me to be able to learn what I needed to do in order to get this job. Um, the fact that I had actually gone out by myself and gotten those certifications and done the learning on my own was one of the main things that helped me get hired at this position. Thanks to NGT, I've been able to not only find a job I love, but I've been able to chart a course for my life going forward.